What's up fellow creators, today I want to talk about a new LED light that I recently purchased. It's the Came TV Bolton 55 watt daylight only uh, focusing light. And in a previous video, I talked about a cheap spotlight that I was using for weddings. It's the Young Nuo 216. And in this video, I'm just going to compare some footage to show you the difference from this upgrade. I'm also going to show you some um, footage from my most recent wedding that I used it in and some problems that I had uh, along the way. And most of these problems were solved from another YouTuber named Jason Vong, and I'll leave a link in the description below of his channel. Also, any products that you see on this video, I'll leave links below. Um, so with that said, let's get into it. So here's a quick unboxing. I actually didn't receive it like this. I've used it a few times, but I just want to show you what is actually included. You get three of these diffusions. There's one right here, the tungsten light that I already have inside. Um, you get your AC power connector and the separate cable for your D-Link. So it's super easy to operate. You can just throw it on the light stand, screw it down. And me personally, I only use one side for to control the tilting. Now this is the cable that goes into the AC power and also to the D-Link and it just plugs straight in the back of here. You have two knobs on top, just an on off. This is the daylight, so you have just an on and the other one that controls your dimmer. And then here on the side is how you control the focusing. Pull of the way out would be the tighter shot. So here's where the problem lied. At a wedding, I'm just repeating this clip, but I used one of the NP batteries and I would periodically get these little clips. So the solution I found is I bought this Came TV uh, plate with clamp and this holds a V mount. Um, I bought this iLED and this, is hold, this holds two NP batteries. And here's the batteries right here. I'll have the links below to these batteries and I just used two of them. They click in and you use that cable that goes uh, with the AC power, it plugs in and plugs to the top. And with that, you increase your voltage and you, you, I didn't have any problems after that. And with this setup right here, I got through the entire reception. There was four speeches, the cake cutting, three first dances, and I was still at 100% power, so this is absolutely plenty. So one other thing that you could do to make it even easier to power this light is to just buy a V-mount battery. This would replace the ILED and the two NP batteries and it would just be 10 times faster. You would just hook it to that Came TV plate and clamp and then just plug it into the light and it would be good to go. So here's the 216. You can see how wide it is. This is from 12 feet away. Now this is the Came TV. You can see how much tighter it is. They're both from 12 feet away and that's tight, that's wide just to show you an example. <clears throat> so here's a clip of my nephew. This is about 20 feet away with it zoomed in. I kept the camera settings all the same and now you can see the huge difference between uh, the brightness. So here's a shot from one of my most recent video wedding videos and it's just, the, the light is just so much better. It's brighter, it's tighter, you don't blind any of the other guests and I shoot with the Canon 80D so it allows me to keep my ISO very low. When I first used this light and I was getting flickering, I was seconds away from sending it back. But once I figured out that issue, I absolutely love this light. It's very versatile, it's really fast, battery operated, so for weddings, it's quick. Just throw it on the stand, throw in the battery pack, and you're good to go. Um, there's also a bunch of accessories that I haven't purchased yet. If you visit the Came TV website, they have some magnetic gels, they have some magnetic diffusions, so this light could be used for a bunch of stuff, just more than a spotlight. But I hope you like this video. If you have any comments, leave it in the questions in the comment section below. And if you like this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.